GM Chevy Bolt EV battery fix could bring many owners more range than they originally had. Owners of the 2017-2019 Chevrolet Bolt EV models have had to contend with a reduced driving range for many months as GM attempted to find a remedy for a battery-related fire issue that culminated with a plan to replace all battery modules. Bengt Halverson in Green Car Report has some information that may interest a lot of GM owners, Chevy Bolt owners. Now GM has confirmed that it's stepping up by offering a significant range boost for those earlier boast electric vehicles. How is this going to happen? In a communication to some owners sent over the weekend, spotted by friends of Green Car Reports, the automaker GM emphasized that the all-new lithium-ion battery modules installed in old Bolt EVs will offer GM's most advanced Bolt chemistry. This is what that communication said. Quote, enclosed is a communication regarding a recall on your Bolt EV. At Chevrolet, it is our mission to keep you, our customer, at the center of everything we do. To that end, we are writing to today to communicate to you today to communicate the first steps on how we will make good on that promise. Because safety is our highest priority and in an abundance of caution, we plan to replace the lithium-ion battery modules in your vehicle with new lithium-ion battery modules as parts become available. These all-new lithium-ion battery modules will provide you with all new cells featuring GM's most advanced bolt chemistry, 8% additional battery capacity resulting in a vehicle range improvement in equivalent driving conditions, a new 8-year 100,000 mile limited parts warranty for your lithium-ion battery upon completion of the battery module replacements. However, if th that was the end of the quote. Now, even though it is not specified exactly how many more miles the Bolt will be able to travel with the new batteries, GM doesn't mention the fact that there are Bolts with two sizes of battery pack currently on the road. Examples, bolt, uh, examples built between 2017 and 2019 have 60 kilowatt hour, but in 2020 that was increased to 65 kilowatt hours. Um, in uh, GM warranty communication, uh, actually, their, their pending 8% boost in battery capacity is described as resulting in a range improvement in equivalent driving condition and includes a new 8-year 100,000 mile limited parts warranty covering the battery after the module replacement. We will replace the module in the 2017-2019 population with the latest generation cell chemistry, which would provide the that level of range improvement, GM spokesperson Kevin Kelly confirmed to Green Car Reports Monday, yes, uh, two days ago. That could be a very good deal for Bolt EV owners and drivers over the long run. For 2020, GM nudged up the range of the Chevy Bolt EV by about uh, exactly that amount to 259 miles from the previous 238 miles, though the use of new, more energy-dense lithium-ion cell from LG. That brought the official energy capacity of the pack from 60 kilowatt hour up to 65 kilowatt hour currently labeled. The capacity and range boost for 2020 followed a running change to the sales pathway through the 2019 model year as GM switched production of the Bolt electric vehicles sales from Ochang, South Korea to Holland, Michigan. GM initially said that only the earlier South Korean sales were cells were affected by the issue, but earlier this month it expanded the recall to all bold electric vehicle models made to date including 2020-2022 Chevy Bolt EV and new 2020 Chevy Bolt EUV models. Under a recall announced August 20 and posted 
noted in full by NHTSA last week. GM noted defective battery modules will be replaced by GM free of charge, but it hadn't said exactly which cells it would use as replacement. As part of the recent expanded recall, GM also noted that owners are advised to set the target charge level feature on the bolt to limit charging to 90%. Beyond that, it advises owners to charge more frequently to avoid depleting the battery to 70 miles remaining, to, mar to park outside after charging, and not to charge the vehicle indoor overnight. GM again advised uh, that the affected modes may pose a risk of fire when charged to full or very close to full capacity. In fact, this morning there is a discussion on Reddit about a car that yesterday exploded, a Chevy Bolt expo exploded. In my next report, I will have those images and the details coming, and Chevrolet is in communication with that car. Uh, last week's recall included a stop sale and hold on the delivery and use of all in innovated bolt electric vehicles that are in dealers' possessions, including new and used inventory, shuttle vehicles, and demos, and GM-certified used bolt EVs already in GM's system will be decertified according to a recall document. It's also stopped building bolt EV and EUV models. We are still working with LG on any potential modifications needed to the manufacturing process at their plant, reported Kelly. Automakers rarely single out suppliers in recall, but GM made note that it was seeking reimbursement for the recall effort, now potentially at a total of $1.8 billion due to two different defects in affected cells. Those owners of old Bolt electric vehicles have already been advised to set their maximum charge to 90% for months and were called back to the dealerships for the installation of advanced onboard diagnostic software that was supposed to detect those potential battery issues before they happened, but it did not stop the instance of fire. GM will be facing those hurdles, but this could be a consumer win in this. Batteries are the most expensive single components of electric cars, friends, and once the cars are fixed, owners will in some respect have a new electric vehicle without new EV payments, says Green Car Reports. Think of this this way. It's not unusual to see 10% battery degradation after a few years of EV ownership. Now, for the inconvenience, any range drop will be erased, and they'll likely be getting more range than the cars did when they knew. For a company that's depending on the reputation of its upcoming Ultium EVs for a decade of growth, that sounds like a smart move. So, friends, what do you think about these things? Let me know, friends. In the meantime, we're learning from the media that GM is not not confident LG Chem will build defect-free bolt batteries, reports Detroit Free Press. I will bring this in report in a moment to you in a separate report. General Motors will keep its Orion assembly plant idled and not start repairs on the nearly 141,000 recalled Chevrolet Bolt EVs and EUVs until it is confident its supplier can make a defect-free electric vehicle battery that does not pose a potential risk, says Detroit Free Press. So let me know about the possibility of the range extension uh, on GM both uh, cars, friends, and uh, possibility having a ba basically a new car, uh, considering the lack of battery depletion after the uh, recall is fixed. Well, friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com early in the morning from Charlotte, North Carolina. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle news that happens within hours and are reported within hours. And as you gave me your valuable time, I want to leave you something valuable, not something more lasting in terms of value. You know, in this world, people have become slaves to their passions. They mistakenly think life is in the abundance of possessions. Yet we learn that the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom in 2 Corinthians. Friends, true freedom is not the fulfillment of your desires, which actually make us slaves to our passions. I want more. I want bigger. The true freedom is freedom from passions. Freedom from our desires of wanting to have more, bigger, and even more. True freedom is in the Lord. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And I'll see you soon in our next report. I'll look forward to your comments.